Welcome back to Legends Unearthed. Today we're diving deep into one of Greek mythology's more sinister tales, the story of Procrustes, the Stretcher. This legend, rich in symbolism and dark overtones, offers us a glimpse into ancient perspectives on justice, individuality, and the cost of enforced uniformity. Before we jump into unravel the complexities of this chilling myth, a quick reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us uncover more incredible stories and myths from around the world. Let's examine the intricacies of this terrifying tale and its continuing relevance. Who was Procrustes? Procrustes, known also as Procoptes, Damastes, or Polypemon, was a rogue smith and bandit from Attica, a figure shrouded in dread. A son of Poseidon, the god of the sea, and Celia, his lineage was both divine and dark. This ancestry hints at a duality within Procrustes, born of gods yet infamous for his mortal cruelties. His deeds in Eleusis, a region steeped in its own mystical significance due to the Eleusinian mysteries, a series of initiations held every year for the cult of Dementor and Persephone, adds a layer of profound eeriness to his tale. The Bed of Procrustes Let's delve deeper into the heart of Procrustes' tale, his notorious iron bed. This wasn't just a tool of terror. It was a meticulously laid trap, emblematic of Procrustes' cunning and brutality. To truly understand the horror it represented, we need to explore how unsuspecting travelers found themselves ensnared in this deadly device. Imagine the landscape of ancient Attica, where roads were treacherous and travelers often relied on the hospitality of strangers. Procrustes, exploiting this custom, posed as a benevolent host. He would welcome weary travelers into his home, offering them food and a place to rest. Little did they know, this seemingly kind gesture was a ruse leading to a grim fate. The iron bed, situated in Procrustes' abode, was presented as a comfortable resting place. But this was no ordinary bed. It had a dark secret. It was designed to fit any traveler who lay upon it, but not in the way one might expect. Procrustes, with a twisted sense of perfection, had devised a bed that was neither too long nor too short for anyone, in theory. The reality, however, was far more sinister. Once the traveler lay down, the trap was sprung. If the traveler was too short for the bed, Procrustes would use his smithing tools and skills, a perversion of his craft, to stretch their body, pulling and elongating limbs until they matched the bed's length. The agony of this stretching was unimaginable, and no one could survive the ordeal. In contrast, if the traveler was too tall, Procrustes would coldly and methodically amputate their limbs, reducing them to the bed size. It was a lose-lose situation, a grotesque game where the only winning move was not to play. This bed was more than a physical object. It was a manifestation of Procrustes's warped mentality. It embodied his obsession with a perverse form of order and perfection. The travelers, in their vulnerability, represented the variability and unpredictability of human nature, aspects that Procrustes sought to violently standardize. Procrustes' Analysis the era of Greek mythology. To fully grasp the terror of Procrustes, we must understand the era he inhabited. Greek mythology is replete with tales of gods and mortals, heroes and villains, each embodying various aspects of human nature and societal norms. Procrustes stood out as a rogue element in this mythic landscape. His story is set against the backdrop of a world where divine intervention and moral lessons were commonplace, making his earthly cruelties all the more striking. The Downfall of Procrustes, a Hero's Retribution In Greek mythology, every story of villainy usually finds its counter in heroism, and the tale of Procrustes is no exception. Enter Theseus, a hero destined to become the king of Athens, journeying along the sacred way between Athens and Eleusis. It was on this path that he encountered the notorious Procrustes, who had made a stronghold on Mount Corydalus at Erinaeus. 
Theseus's encounter with Procrustes was not just a clash of strength, but a confrontation of ideals. Procrustes, who had long imposed his cruel standard on others, met his match in Theseus. The hero, known for his wisdom and strength, turned the tables on the twisted smith. In a decisive and symbolic act, Theseus compelled Procrustes to lie on his own iron bed. Here, the hero employed the same method that Procrustes had used on countless travelers. He made Procrustes fit his own bed. This act of forcing Procrustes onto his bed was more than mere physical retribution. It was a profound act of poetic justice. Theseus, in making Procrustes suffer the same fate as his victims, not only punished the villain, but also dismantled the very symbol of Procrustes's tyranny. It was an echo of the ancient Greek principle of measure for measure, where the punishment mirrored the crime. Theseus's defeat of Procrustes was also an imitation of the heroic deeds of Heracles, who similarly punished those who offered him violence in the manner they had intended for him. This parallel underscores the theme of heroic justice prevalent in Greek myths, where heroes were often seen as agents of divine retribution, correcting the imbalances caused by villainous acts. The downfall of Procrustes at the hands of Theseus thus marks a significant moment in Greek mythology. It not only signifies the end of Procrustes' reign of terror, but also represents the triumph of justice and the restoration of moral order. Theseus's journey continues beyond this encounter, but the defeat of Procrustes remains a powerful testament to the enduring themes of justice, retribution, and the hero's journey in Greek mythology. The Symbolism of the Procrustean Bed The legacy of Procrustes lives on in language and literature. The word Procrustean and the term Procrustean Bed have become a metaphor for the dangers of authoritarianism and the obliteration of individuality. In modern contexts, this myth has been paralleled with totalitarian regimes and dystopian societies, where uniformity is enforced at the cost of personal freedom. This myth has inspired various literary works and philosophical discussions, serving as a cautionary tale against the dangers of imposing uniform standards without regard for individual differences. From Orwell's 1984 to Huxley's Brave New World, the echoes of Procrustes' bed are apparent, warning of a world where conformity is enforced at the expense of humanity's inherent diversity. Conclusion In conclusion, the myth of Procrustes is a multifaceted narrative that continues to captivate and caution us. It's a tale that transcends its mythological roots to offer insights into human nature, society, and the perils of enforced uniformity. As we reflect on this legend, let's appreciate the value of our individual differences and the importance of a society that embraces rather than erases them. What are your thoughts on this story? Share your perspectives in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Greek mythology and its timeless lessons. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the legend of Procrustes, please like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the fascinating world of myths and legends. Until next time on Legends Unearthed, keep seeking the stories that lie hidden in the shadows of history.